Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. Cambion Drift is home to the infested open world and on it, scattered across the surface are Requiem monoliths or obles, whichever you prefer to call them. These monoliths are provided in an alternative way to gather resources from mining like formica ore and necrophine gems or even fishing resources like spinal cord sections and muscle mass. The resources it gives you are some of which that you'll be needing to progress up early in Syndicate Standing and gathering tokens or even to get equipment within the Necrolith Relay. On the map here are where the monoliths are located and they cycle differently whenever you enter a new session on Cambion Drift, so it's best to remember these spots or use lock pins to mark them down for easier access whenever you do need them. All monoliths begin the same. You want to be using your Operator to shoot the Void Crystal with your Amp and then this will go ahead and activate the monolith. Getting closer towards it will make enemies spawn and depending on the monolith requiem icon displayed above will depend on what effect will happen to these enemies. In order to get your loot, you do want to be cooperating with each monolith and their pulses and their effects. So it will be a bit of a learning process. Make sure to kill all of these enemies with either your operator and its amp weapon or your operator piloting your necromech. When you do kill these enemies, they will have a chance to drop red and blue loot to collect. Now blue is being the rarer of the resources. They will only spawn a few enemies and roughly last around a minute's worth of combat. So whenever the enemy stops spawning, you can simply move on to the next monolith to continue farming your resources. Let's have a little look into these crystals and their effects. Jahu, when activated, will pulse out a wave of energy that pushes enemies away from the monolith. You'll want to kill these enemies as they are being pushed away from the center. Any enemies outside being unaffected when killed will not drop any loot for you. The pulses only seem to work when you are near the monoliths, so try to go in and out to lure enemies for their resources. Loke. When activated, will damage enemies with a claw-like effect. Just pay attention to the enemy. Any kind of stagger or interruption they obtain is when you want to kill them for your loot. Fuss. When activated, will turn enemies into allies for a short period of time. It states you want to let the ally kill the other enemies for loot, although what I have been finding is a little different, a bug perhaps. I will await the monolith pulse, and whether it converts enemies or not, you will want to kill all enemies on that wave and just receive your loot. I have found this currently working, and I am not needing to wait for the allies to kill enemies. Kra. When activated, will slow enemies down, and this is similar to Nova's Molecular Prime ability. When the enemies are slow, this is when you want to go and kill them for your loot. Riss. When activated, will blind enemies. Just make sure to kill all enemies only when they are blinded to receive your loot. Just pay attention to their movement. Vone. When activated, will tether all enemies close to the monolith and stop them from leaving that range. Just kill all of the enemies when they are tethered by the monolith to go ahead and get your loot. Netra. When activated, will summon allied tendrils that will kamikaze themselves into enemies. All enemies killed by the tendrils will receive loot. However, as of right now, this monolith needs some buffing or some fixing, as the allied tendrils do not do enough damage, and unfortunately, your time is being wasted. Zata, when activated, will randomly cycle into one of the other seven monoliths, giving you full effects of that monolith until all enemies stop spawning. Then, it will cycle back to Zata again. Now, there are plenty of different rewards to gain from this, and if you are having issues with particular fish, or having no luck with such ores and gems, then it's a good alternative method to help you farm. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would appreciate if you guys could like the video for support. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing, and until the next video, have a good day.